on the day King Saul met his tragic end. Amidst the sorrow that surrounds us during tough times, it's common to point fingers or attribute blame to external factors. While external circumstances play a role, we often find ourselves as the architects of our own misfortune. Until we take responsibility for our actions, we remain trapped in destructive cycles. King Saul, chosen by God as Israel's first king, fell into a pattern of blaming others, making false accusations, and pointing fingers. This cycle led to the loss of every blessing bestowed upon him. The painful tale of his death, chronicled in Chronicles, reveals the Philistines' pursuit and the demise of Saul and his sons on the same day. The Philistines, originating from Crete, posed a constant threat to Saul and David. Archaeological evidence suggests their advanced weaponry, acquired from the Greeks, made them formidable adversaries. Saul's army, faced with the Philistine onslaught, fled, and Saul, witnessing the Philistine army, was consumed by fear. Saul's tragic end wasn't merely a result of external foes. It stemmed from his disobedience and refusal to heed God's word. His downfall began when he consulted a medium instead of seeking guidance from the Lord. This disobedience, coupled with unfaithfulness and pride, sealed Saul's fate. Saul's life, marked by wasted potential, serves as a cautionary tale. Despite initial promise and divine appointments, he succumbed to pride, fear, and disobedience. His demise wasn't due to external forces but resulted from his rebellion against God. His story emphasizes the importance of wholehearted obedience and faith in God's guidance. In desperation, Saul sought supernatural guidance from a medium, violating God's law. The encounter with the spirit of Samuel brought a message of judgment. Saul's disobedience had cost him the kingdom, and his death marked the transfer of power to David. Saul's death had far-reaching consequences, his family decimated, Israel's army shattered, and the nation humiliated. The people of Jabesh Gilead, grateful for Saul's past deliverance, honored him by retrieving and properly burying his body. Saul's tragic end contrasts with David's response. David, though once Saul's target, mourned the deaths of Saul and Jonathan. He demonstrated forgiveness and respect, penning a lamentation acknowledging their achievements. The contrast between David and Saul prompts reflection on our own capacity for forgiveness and humility. The narrative of Saul's life serves as a somber reminder of the consequences of disobedience and the importance of humility before God. While David found restoration through repentance, Saul's refusal to acknowledge his faults led to a tragic demise. May we learn from Saul's story, striving for obedience and humility in our own journey. Saul's story underscores the critical importance of genuine spiritual connection and steadfast obedience to God's will. His initial humility at the beginning of his reign deteriorated into a dangerous cocktail of unfaithfulness, disobedience, and reliance on forbidden practices. As we delve deeper into Saul's journey, it becomes evident that his downfall resulted from a series of choices, choices to prioritize personal desires over God's commands, to trust in his own abilities rather than relying on divine guidance. The once promising king lost sight of God's plan for Israel and succumbed to the allure of worldly pursuits. Saul's tragic end also highlights the destructive power of pride. His reluctance to admit mistakes and take responsibility for his actions led to a downward spiral. Instead of embracing correction and seeking reconciliation with God, Saul justified himself, perpetuating a cycle of spiritual decline. The four main factors contributing to Saul's demise, unfaithfulness, disobedience, witchcraft, and pride, serve as cautionary beacons for us. They remind us to remain vigilant in our walk with God, to resist the temptation to compromise our values for expedient solutions, and to acknowledge our shortcomings with humility. The story of Saul challenges us to evaluate our own lives. Are we, like Saul, pursuing empty endeavors, neglecting our relationship with God, and seeking solutions outside of his guidance? The tale prompts us to reflect on the state of our hearts and whether we are faithfully adhering to God's commands or allowing pride to blind us to our shortcomings. Saul's tragic end is not merely a historical account but a timeless lesson, 
urging us to prioritize a genuine connection with God over fleeting pursuits. The narrative compels us to consider the consequences of our choices and the potential impact on our own lives and those around us. In contrast to Saul's tragedy, David's ability to mourn the loss of his adversary speaks volumes about the power of forgiveness and compassion. It underscores the importance of extending grace to those who may have wronged us, a stark reminder that our response to adversity shapes our character. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us draw wisdom from Saul's mistakes, choosing the path of obedience, humility, and a sincere connection with our Creator. May we be architects of our own redemption, steering clear of the destructive cycles that ensnared Saul, and instead, embracing the transformative power of a steadfast commitment to God's will.